Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to have a quick look at Waydroid. Waydroid makes it possible to run Android on Linux, but you have to be on the Wayland compositor, hence the name Waydroid. And as you can see, I had a look at it in 2022 on my Pinebook Pro running Manjaro. And back in those days, Wayland was still in full development, wasn't really considered to be stable back in those days. Nowadays, it is considered to be stable and it's also uh, available with a lot of distributions. In 2022, I also had some issues with some kernel modules, but that is all solved, it seems. So, yeah, the Pinebook Pro has the Rockchip RK3399. So now I'm running uh, Armbian, Ubuntu based, on a Racha Rock 5B with the Rockchip RK3588. And it's a lot smoother than it was back in those days on the Pinebook Pro. So, Waydroid has its own website, and there is one thing that you have to keep in mind. Uh, it emulates Android, but it doesn't emulate a different kind of CPU. So in my case, I'm running on ARM64, so that means that I need to install the ARM64 Android apps. Nowadays, Android is also available for Intel and AMD. So if you're running it on Intel AMD, you have to install the Android applications that were built for Intel and AMD. So you can't mix those. That's something you have to keep in mind. Well, the installation is a lot simpler nowadays. So they have the instructions for a lot of distributions but in my case with Armium based on Ubuntu, install the certificates, add the repository, and then you can install Waydroid. Now, the first time you start it, you need to download some images. Um, these URLs, uh, they were already filled in. What I did notice is that sometimes you get a very low download speed and when it doesn't speed up then it's probably better just to stop it and try it again and then hopefully you will get a faster download speed and then it will download the images extract them and then you should be good to go so yeah once you've run Waydroid, then all the Android applications, they also become available in your Linux environment. So for instance, if I want to start DuckDuckGo, then you can see that it starts DuckDuckGo immediately. Um, yeah, if the Android environment still needs to be booted, then it will take longer. But when you start an application like this, then it's really just in its own container and you're not working as normally under Android. So if you want to work as you would usually would do with Android and just start Waydroid directly. And here you can see that we have an Android environment. So it comes standard with, I think it's Chromium. So what I did was um, I searched for F-Droid. Uh, I mean like, yeah, you can also, uh, oh, oh no. Try to install the uh, Google stack. Um, I don't think that's, 
like really officially supported but uh, there are ways to do it but in my case I just uh, downloaded Afdroid so that means that the browser needs to have access to what they call photos and media but what they really mean is that it needs to have file system access so that it can place the download file and once you see this icon you can click on it it means that the file has been downloaded and then uh, yeah you get a security warning that by default it's not allowed to install unknown apps so click on the settings and then just uh, enable or allowing the browser to install unknown apps now if you install Afdroid you get the same thing allow it to install unknown apps and from there you should be good to go and as you could see so let's see well here we have DuckDuckGo so let's just say we want to go to Wikipedia yeah 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 so no I don't need that you can see that it uh, looks to be working smoothly without any problems so I also installed a game so on Afdroid it's all open source uh, applications and games so not the big titles so let's see that works oops so yeah you can see that on the rock chip rk3588 it is possible to run applications quite smoothly and in this case also possible to run a simple game so yeah I still want to wait with other games more complex games once I have the Vulcan driver running properly so yeah I, the only way I know how to quit Waydroid is uh, like this uh, I'm not really sure if I can do it from within the Android environment itself perhaps there is a way to do it but I haven't found it yet so this was just my quick look at Waydroid. I think the installation has become fairly simple. Um, yeah, it's still work in progress. So perhaps if you do some complex things or a complex Android app or game, then things might not work. It might even crash, who knows? Like I said, it's still work in progress, but um, I think it has improved a lot compared to like three years ago. So this is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.